Have you ever dreamt of taking over the world? Well, it's not too late. As artificial intelligence and machine learning take over the world, you can be the driver too and run the course of technology. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Selena and in today's video we'll be discussing how you can get into the exciting world of artificial intelligence and machine learning which was only seen in sci-fi movies up till now but is taking over things left, right and center. Before we begin, I would like you to know that this video is a roadmap for students and professionals who want to start or begin their journey in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. To give an introduction, I would like you to know that this entire technology runs on two main pillars and those are mathematics and statistics. But as all of us have had a bit of taste of these in school, so it is not a concept that is entirely new and so it is easy to get started. Here is a list of topics from mathematics that are very important from AIML perspective. Linear algebra, calculus and multivariate calculus, optimization theory, information theory and graph theory. When we come to probability and statistics, it is a much bigger list. So hold on tight. There is probability distributions, conditional probability and Bayes theorem, expectation and variance, random variables and probability functions, central limit theorem, hypothesis testing and confidence intervals, correlation and covariance, regression analysis, maximum likelihood estimation and sampling distributions. Hope you are not bored. There are multiple good resources on the internet to study from, but some that I personally prefer are by the O'Reilly production, like Essential Math for AI and Practical Statistics for Data Science. The next step in our roadmap is programming. There are multiple languages used for coding, but two of the most significantly used ones are Python and R programming. Python is great for making machine learning models because it has many useful tools like TensorFlow and Scikit-learn. It is easy to use and understand. And because it is open sourced, someone or the other is always working to make it better. R programming is a popular choice for statistics because it is easy to understand and it has multiple tools for analyzing data and testing hypotheses. I would like to suggest you the following courses for Python programming. These are the complete Python bootcamp from zero to hero in Python on Udemy. Then there is 100 days of code, the complete Python Pro bootcamp by Angela Yu, also on Udemy. Along with these, you can also work on other Python projects to enhance your skills. Data science is supremely important for machine learning, and hence that is our next step in the roadmap. Data scientists help clean and gather up data, which is later used to build machine learning models. A data scientist determines which model will be best on a particular data set and which will give the best results. So without data science, machine learning models wouldn't give as good results in real life. The different processes one should get familiar with in the field of data science are data acquisition, data preparation, data analysis, and finally, data manipulation. To get a more hands-on experience in data science, you can easily pick up projects or data sets on Kaggle and GitHub and work on them. Finally, we come to the most awaited part of the video, and that is machine learning. This is where the real fun begins, where you start to apply all of your knowledge in maths and statistics and also of data science so that you can finally build the models that solve real life problems. Machine learning is like teaching computers how to learn from examples and improve over time without any explicit programming. It's like teaching a dog how to recognize different objects. You show them examples like a ball or a bone and they figure them out on their own. What is the difference between the two? Similarly, with computers, you give them lots of examples and they learn how to make patterns and hence make decisions of their own. Machine learning can be very broadly classified into four main types. So there is supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning, and reinforcement learning. There are multiple courses out there on AI and ML, but the one that I used was from Udemy and it is called Machine Learning A to Z, AI, Python, and R plus ChatGPT. The reason why I chose this course was because it's very hands-on, it's very practical and it gives you a very in-depth understanding of all the topics that I just mentioned in machine learning. The more we dig deeper into this realm of technology, the more advanced it gets. And that's what the next part is all about and it is called deep learning. Deep learning is to teach computers how to think and learn like humans 
by using special algorithms called neural networks, which help them discover the patterns in complex data and break them down into their individual bits. If you have decided to go for the machine learning course on Udemy that I previously mentioned, then you can also go for the next part of it for deep learning. And this one is called Deep Learning A to Z 2024 Neural Networks AI and ChatGPT. And it is by the same creators and it is amazing. Other domains in artificial intelligence include image recognition, planning, vision, robotics, natural language processing, and algorithms. These, along with machine learning and deep learning, make up the widely popular field of artificial intelligence. And if you want to get more in-depth intuition on this, you can watch Harvard's CS50 Artificial Intelligence course on YouTube. I hope you now have a clear roadmap for entering the world of artificial intelligence and making a difference in this world. Remember, you don't necessarily need a degree to get into this field. All you need is a creative mindset, a good approach, and a strive to change the world. On this note, I conclude. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video.